In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to make the famous transition with the ink effect in DaVinci Resolve and totally free. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, you must check what type of video you have to make the ink transition. There are two types of video with the ink effect. One has a black background and white ink. And on the other hand, there are those with a white background and black ink. Don't worry, making the transition with one or the other is very similar. But you must take it into account before starting to make the transition. In case you don't have the videos with the ink effect to make the transition, in this tutorial, I will also show you how you can download stock videos with the ink effect totally free and also royalty free. Very well, now we are going to start with the tutorial. We will use the clip that has the black background and the white ink. If your video has a white background and black ink, changing it is very simple. We just have to invert the colors. To do this, we must go to the DaVinci Resolve color module. Once inside the color module, select the video clip with the ink effect that you want to modify. If the video clips do not appear, click on this tab here and you'll be able to select the clip that you want. Perfect. We select the clip and then we open the effects menu located in the upper right part. Now we look for the effect, invert color. Left click on it and drag it to a node. When applying this effect, the background and ink color will be inverted. That's simple. Very well. Now I put the black background and the white ink again, which is what interests us. And we go to the edit module. The first thing we will do to create the ink transition is to add a background. Go to the effects menu located at the top left. Click on this small arrow to display the tools section. It will show us all these options. We have to select Generators. Inside Generators, we can find two interesting effects to make the transition. In the first place, Solid Color. With this effect, you can add a completely white background or the color you want. Secondly, in the Fusion Generators section, we will find the effect Paper. With this effect, we can create a paper background, and it allows us to modify the texture of the paper to our liking. I personally recommend using the paper effect to give an extra touch to this transition. We select the paper effect and drag it to our timeline. We can see that a new clip with the paper texture has been created. If we click on this clip and go to the inspector video, in the Generator section, we can change several parameters to modify the paper properties to our liking. We can vary the gain, increase or decrease the lift. Thanks to this, we will get the paper look that we're looking for. I'm going to modify it so that it has an old paper look. With this last saturation option, you can add sepia tones to the paper. I think it can look quite good with the ink transition. The first option is also very interesting as you can vary the whole texture. If you don't want a paper background and you just want the background to be completely white, add the solid color effect to the timeline. Once added, by default it will come in black. To change it, click on the clip. In the generator section, click on color. Select white color and then click on this small arrow that is next to the bar. Raise it to the top and you will have a completely white background to make the ink transition. In my case, I'm going to use the paper texture. We make the final touches so that it's perfect and finished. Let's go to the important part, how to make the ink transition in your video. The first step is to select the clip with the ink effect and raise it to a higher track. In my case, to video track two. Then in the video track one at the bottom, we will place the clip that has the paper texture or white background. Adjust the clip to last as long as the ink effect. Perfect. Next, we will change the opacity mode of the clips to be able to make the transition. Select the ink effect clip 
and go to the Inspector menu, Section, Video. Here you will find the adjustment of Composite. We must change the Composite mode. Click on this little arrow, go to the bottom and look for the mode LUM. This. We select it, and we have already changed the opacity mode of the video with the effect of the ink. You don't have to modify the opacity mode in the paper texture clip. We must leave it in mode normal. Great. It's time to import the video you want to add to the ink transition. Just import the video you want to use to the timeline and place it on top of the video track three. Put it on the part where the other two clips are. Finally, to finish the transition, we must change the opacity mode of this video clip. We select Clip, go to the Inspector menu, Composite, and now we change the Composite mode. We must look for the mode of Foreground. We click. Once this is done, we will have the ink transition finished. Let's see. It starts showing only the paper, and then our video with the ink effect appears. Okay. For all those who wanted to download the videos with ink effect, you can download them in the following way. In Google, we search for Pixabay, and we click on Pixabay, obviously. This is not any promo or anything. I recommend this page because it's the one that I usually use. In the search engine, put that instead of images, look for videos. And now write ink. A lot of ink videos will appear. If you want it to only show ink videos in black and white, we could search for ink black or ink grunge. For example, if you search for ink grunge, the video that I used will appear. I repeat, all these stock videos are totally free and you can use it without any problem in your videos. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. That's all for today. See you in the next video.